and we're off. Swell coming through the harbour already. Got my mate Tom with me. We're going camping. Got the swags underneath. All the camping gear should be an epic trip. Hopefully the weather holds up for us. It's a little bit lumpy. Got a long journey ahead of us. Tom's on to a good one. Been working hard for him today. Oh, a few head shakes. Hey. Hey. Large well, mouth nanny. Nice. Is that your first one ever? It is, I think. From the seven inch. From the seven inch Z man. Not a bad fish. Just need to upgrade it then. Yeah. Look at you, it could be nice. Right species. I've caught a little red emperor here before actually. Probably like that size. That's cool. Well done. Hold on. Seems way nicely. Here we are in paradise. Boat stranded. I'm gonna set up camp on the beach. Had to find a new spot today for a bit of protection from the northerly winds. Um, should be good. How's it compared to Hamilton? Um, it's pretty good. So much better. Boat parked on some sand. Coral, whatever stuff here, and we just walked all our camping gear up to the beach. It's a low tide in about an hour, so we're gonna cook up some lunch, set up camp, have a good time, and then when the boat's floating again, we'll go out for a fish for the afternoon. It's been a good day so far. Fishing's been a little bit tough, but. Beats working. There's probably been a few people here lately. Yeah, the funny thing is, like, when I take all these recordings, if we don't get any good fish, I basically discard all of it. Oh, okay. Because there's, like, nothing to... <laughs> no fishing in it. Just had a whopping bacon and egg sandwich times two, which is great. Um, I'm gonna go for a bit of snorkeling. Or if, Robert, if you're watching, so I call it snorkeling. Um, yeah, we're gonna go look for a crayfish. And um, yeah, hopefully we can do a bit of a catch and cook on it later. Tom's got the recipe for the, the old, um, Crayfish catch and cook. Lots of butter. <laughs> Lots of butter, he says. This is awesome, eh? Isn't it just paradise? Absolutely beautiful. So, we're gonna go for a bit of a snorkel. Hopefully find a crayfish, one or two, and um, be able to cook them up for dinner tonight. Not really experienced catching crays, so I'm just gonna have a bit of fun here. There's the Quinny, shining in all her glory.
validated. smaller than a Spanish. Yeah. Yep. They got a great big tail. That's what you caught off the rocks, off um, the harbour. The same thing. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Straight through the head, eh? Yeah. That's <laughs> well, it wasn't quite. I had to like slide it in there. The, and then um, it went through. Bit of a dirty hook up. <laughs> <laughs> not, not textbook, but job's done. That's cool. It's a nice fish. Yeah, great little fish. Nice fish. Nice fish. <laughs> He screamed off for a little bit, eh? Hey? He did. Good fight. Do you want your camera or is this oh, one? that's a nice little Spanish. Not quite big enough, so he's going back. straight in the boat. Cool. Look at that. Must have spent. He didn't bite much, did he? <laughs> nah. Well, at least we know they're there. He called him for a foul hook. Just clean that floor. <laughs> <laughs> Spun up this nice little Spanish mackerel. Oh. 
<laughs> Nearly got my toes there. On the 90 gram Ram Raider, it's full of blood and slime. Uh, but yeah, we're sounding them up, seeing them on the sounder, dropping the lures down, winding them up fast. It's probably the smallest legal Spanish I've ever caught, but I'll take him. It's been a tough day's fishing, so yeah, I'm pretty happy with this one. There's the sounder there. Quite a bit of activity. Sunset. Dropping down metals. Let it hit the bottom if it makes it there. So you'll know when the line stops coming off if it hits bottom. It's there. Wind up fast. Thumbs going off. Good Spanish on the line. We got a finger mark there and a mackerel chopped in half there. It's all happening. It's all happening. And the sun's setting there. This guy doesn't like the look of the boat. Well, I can't believe that. <laughs> I didn't think that he'd go off again, eh? Hey? Is that 10 kilo at least, eh, hey, you reckon? Yeah, it is a large one. That's a shark, I think. It's a bit better than a grey mackerel. Yeah. He didn't go too hard at the start, did he, though? Yeah. I think that new hook I've got him as well. Yes, look! Woo! <laughs> That's a strong card. That's good. That's a great thing. Look at that mouth on him. Well done, man. <laughs> oh, it's good. Epic fish. He looks so like healthy, eh? Like, got that lure out now, or? Yeah. Look at that. <laughs> I'm trying to stay away from that <laughs> base on it. It's got a bit of a scratch inside of him, though. Well done. First Spanish. I'm absolutely stoked. <laughs> Spanish on the chrome. <laughs> That's very, I reckon he's probably a bit over 10, maybe 12. Yep. Awesome. It's an awesome fight. I'm better to. Jeez. That's pretty sick. 
Beautiful finger mark. He's no giant, but he's exactly what I was after. So. Heard all sorts of mayhem going on there. Tom's got his nice 13 kilo Spanish. I got this just leaving the plastic in the rod holder. And this mackerel unfortunately got smashed now. First drop, eh? Hey? Yeah. 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 I actually grabbed the rod a couple of times and just did that and put it back in as well. <laughs> Doubles. Doubles on the Spanish. <laughs> and if I got another um another one on the plastic. Yeah this I think I got a Spanish but not a huge one. It's got a lot of head shakes. This one I've definitely hooked correct. What an afternoon bite. <laughs> oh, she's like that. <laughs> this is epic. Yeah, another nice finish. Another nice one. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Look at that. Let me get that on camera. Look at that. Beautiful fish. What are you going to do with that one? <laughs> We can't keep any more, can we? What do you think? My oh, one's still. We stick together. I love getting the double photos yeah. with two fish, but they need to be released. As well. Get up. I think mine's a bit bigger than I thought. Nice. Nice one. I'm just gonna gaff this guy. Yep. You got the gaff there. Look at that. As the sun sets, struggling to film here. That's a good one. Have you had a look at your set? I'm doing a good job. Whoa! Can you just open that barrel on? Yep. It looks like it. Doubles on Spanish. Oh, woo! <laughs> cool. Oh, that's that's really cool. Man, that's I haven't caught quality Spanish like this for a long time. Yeah. Well, like so it's just that one the other way. Try and let these ones go. We've already got some in the esky. 
You can spear yours in. That's mad. Long fight, so I'm just gonna. I don't know if he's gonna go back. He is. Off he goes. He ran off good, did he? Smash, smash, roll. Going back in. Yeah. Straight away. Cheers. Wow. This is awesome. A bit chaotic. Did you have to wind your plastic in? Oh, it's still out actually. <laughs> well, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you really enjoyed that one. Check out my mate's boat here. It's epic. What is it? A 3.8, Tom? 3.8 Jabiru Savage. 3.8 Jabiru Savage with the mighty 20 horsepower Yamaha. About to take it out for its maiden voyage. First time on the water, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And then he's gone traveling for like three months up north. I'd say follow his YouTube channel, but he hasn't got one going, unfortunately. <laughs> yeah, Tom's a good mate of mine. We had an epic trip. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe. Let me know what you liked in the comments and stay tuned because there's a part two to this island adventure. Um, the next day was just as epic, the fishing. Thanks guys, I'll see you in the next episode. The setup. Got your custom wood trim. Sponsored by Daiwa. Sponsored by Daiwa. I'm alone, I'm a broken home. I gave you all the bricks that I own.